So hopefully you've been watching some of our videos on the rainboard. Uh, so we'd like to actually show you in video about some of the hardware we've done. Uh, to start with, our uh, instrument is made out of acrylic. So the outside here is all acrylic that we've cut and drilled and flamed ourselves. Uh, on top of that we have 61 arcade buttons. So these buttons have a real nice feel to them and they also you know, make a little bit of noise when you jam real hard so it kind of gives you that good feeling like you're back in the days when you were playing in the arcade. Uh, we've also added a pitch bend slider or you can use assign it to a change control whatever else you want. So we can just pitch bend to your heart's desire. The, each one of our buttons has a RGB LED in it. So that's 61 RGB LEDs, which means we can change the colors to uh, basically whatever we want. So here's one particular color layout. Uh, I'll try another one here. So here we have some different red, green, blue colors. Uh, I'll go back to the Easter egg colors as we call them. Uh, underneath we have a whole bunch of wiring. So each one of our LEDs uh, is soldered to the next and they're just chained in a series. Uh, as well, each one of our buttons connects each to each other in a grid. Uh, now, if you look uh, in the middle, we have an accelerometer in here as well. So we can do a little bit of force uh, detection for some velocity. And then up at the top, uh, we have a just a custom board that we made to clean up some of our wiring and so we could uh, detach our different sensors. We have a 64 button board from Spec and Z Lab. And we also have a standard Arduino Uno Revision 2. So what happens is when you press on a button, uh, the signals come through to our button board, and once in our button board our Arduino sees them, we determine if there's any sort of velocity that's going on, and then it actually gets converted to a USB signal via the chip on the Arduino, and it transfers from the cable uh, into an iPad in this case. We can use any general MIDI synthesizer we want, so you're not limited to an iPad, you could connect it to you know, your home synth, whatever you want. Uh, so that's how we make sound with our, the Arduino. So just to show you some velocity sensing, I'll do some light presses and some loud presses. So it's got pretty decent velocity. Uh, as well, on the iPad, we control all of our layouts with uh, our Musics application. So it's a slightly modified version. Uh, here we have a bunch of layouts that we can select. So if we select, uh, say, the Bali layout, uh, it'll change on the rainboard, and as well it'll change on the iPad rainboard immediately. So if we just move some of the notes around, it'll change. Uh, if we go and change some of our colors, it will change on the rainboard as well. Uh, as well, we can change things such as our root note or our scale. Uh, depending on our coloring, so if we wanted to be in a C major scale, uh, the notes on the rainboard would change as well to be in a C major, a C minor, or any other uh, scale that we want. Uh, as well, we added a real-time wave on the rainboard, so when you press a button, a wave actually comes out from that note. So it's interactive as well, so if we press two notes at the same time, we get this wave that interacts with each other, and if we press, say, six notes, we get these much bigger waves that interact with each other. Well, that's where we are so far with the Rainboard. We're hoping uh, to produce a commercial version someday, so there's a few modifications and design stuff we have to do. But if you're interested in seeing something like this, shoot us an email with maybe your suggestions, uh, and hopefully we can actually get you out something to use one day. Thanks.